Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum dear viewers. Today we are going to discuss about the solid oxide fuel cell. Uh, solid oxide fuel cell basically a fuel cell device which converts the chemical energy of constantly supplied fuel cell into electrical energy and all the material which are being used in solid oxide fuel cell are in the solid form there are three components anode cathode and electrolyte and electrolyte material is in between or we can call that as a sandwich between anode and cathode it has many advantages some of them are given here it is its efficiency is very high long-term stability fuel flexibility I mean different type of fuels can be used in solid oxide fuel cell like uh, methane like natural gas like hydrogen even carbon monoxide can be used in the solid oxide fuel cell and the solid oxide fuel cell has low emission of pollution it usually produces water or sometime it produces carbon dioxide in very minute quantity and it have relatively low cost I mean in different type of fuel cell they require platinum as catalyst which is very very expensive so in compared to them solar oxide fuel cell is uh, uh, not too much expensive compared to them and the last relatively high power density here actually we use the cogeneration mean power from the fuel cell and also power from the heat which which is required for solar fuel cell so this is called as cogeneration the main disadvantage of uh, solar fuel cell is its high working temperature which results in long start of time and mechanical and chemical compatibility issue so in order to resolve this problem we move towards the solar fuel cell this is the principle of solid fuel cell at anode at cathode or each side of the fuel cell they are divided by the electrolyte here electrons are produced at anode by the oxidation process which flows through the external circuit and to move toward the cathode oxygen is uh, supplied toward the cathode side uh, they react with the incoming electron to form uh, these oxide ion and these oxide ion then migrate towards the anode side through the oxide ion connecting electrolyte and at the anode oxide ion combined with the oxidized hydrogen ion to form the water as side product this is a chemical reaction which is key taking place in solid fuel cell at anode oxidation would take place of hydrogen and the reduction of oxygen take place at the cathode side. This is also working diagram of solid oxide fuel cell. And the last best one of the best working animation of solid oxide fuel cell. Here there are a anode and cathode. And in between there is electrolyte and they both act as a catalyst. Now we supply oxygen towards cathode side and hydrogen towards anode side. Now you can see at anode oxidation take place and it produces proton and electron. No electron are moves through external circuit to produce electricity and moves toward the cathode where they combine with oxygen to form oxide ion and oxide ion moves towards the proton and outside and combine with proton and form the water which is a side product or byproduct of this. Uh, solid oxide fuel cell. So that's the working principle of solid oxide fuel cell. Here you can see again see uh, the same working animation of solid oxide fuel cell.
again they are oxygen and hydrogen their oxidation reduction phenomena which is in place here So this is the water which is a uh, side product of this 